so from this paper question number 3 so first one is find the sum of terms of AP 4 comma 9 comma 14 and so on till 89 also find the fourth term from the end okay, we need to find out the sum of the terms and fourth term from the end so let's take the given sequence and we'll find using the arithmetic progression formulas we'll do so let me take the given series first so given AP is See, this is an arithmetic progression. So, I mentioned the question that is a 4, 9, 14, and so on is 89. So, from this series, we can find out the first term and common difference. So, first term is A that is equals to 4, and common difference is the D that is second term minus first term. So, 9 minus 4 that is equals to 5, and the last term. The last term take it as L. Last term is L. That is 89. These are the given data. So we can find out the nth term. N value we need to find out before solving. So we know the formula that is An is equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. Let us apply this formula and find out the N value. Number of terms. An is the last term 89. So that is only An. So 89 is equals to a plus. So 4 plus n minus 1 into d is 5. Okay. Using this, you'll find out the value of n first. Then n minus 1 into 5 is equals to 89 minus 4. So 85. Then n minus 1 is equals to 85 by 5. So n is equals to 85 divided by 5 you do it. Then that is um, 17 plus minus 1 take this at 18 n is equals to 18 we need to find out the sum of terms so first question is sum find the sum of the terms so if you use the sn formula sn is equals to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d okay. let us use this uh, sum of the n terms for line AP and find out the sum that is sum of 18 terms so 18 by 2 into 2A first term is given in sequence so A is 4 okay, 2A plus n minus 1 that is 17 into difference is common difference is 5 we will simplify this so 18 by 2 is 9 to calculate this to 4 to the 8 and 17 5 so this what is 93 is 837 there is sum of 18 terms next fourth term from the end fourth term from the end this also you need to find out that is L minus a minus 1 into d just to apply that formula so we can take that so already l is the last number so l minus a minus 1 into because from the last so it is 89 minus a is the 4 right so 4 minus 1 so 3 into difference is 5 so 89 minus 3 pi is a 15 that is 74 so fourth term from the end is 74 this uses both formulas ok so let me write this uh, clearly this formula I write so when you want to find out nth term from the end so let me write the total formula clearly and understand same sum nth term from the end that is L minus N minus 1 into D right so this is the formula actually we need to use this formula for this now nth term that means second question we need to find out the fourth term so fourth term from the end so L is so 89 minus 4 minus 1 into D so not A it's a N 
same 89 minus 3 into d is 5 89 minus uh, 15 that is 70 that's about this now let's see next question use the ruler and compass only for this question draw the circle of radius 4 cm mark two chords a b and a c of the circle of length 6 and 5 cm respectively then from this construct the locus of the point inside the circle that are equidistant from a and c you can construct the locus of the point inside the circle equidistant from a b and a c so always remember whenever you want to find out the equidistance from the vertices we should bisect that line segment a c line segment if you want to find out the equidistance from the sides a b and a c so a is the common so the angle we should bisect these two so let's take the circle 4 centimeters so if you observe this so geometrical constructions are available in the same channel you can go through just after i draw construction here we need to draw the circle according to the given radius first okay. then a, B, C. Then ask again here. Okay, if you observe, draw a circle radius is 4 centimeters and mark two chords A, B, and A, C. A is the common, the length is 6 and 5 centimeters. Okay, one is 6, one is 5. Then let us take the line segments. Just to draw the arcs from A. So A to B, and what are the distances given? Then bisect one. A, B is 6, A, C 5. A, B is the 6. So, this is a 6 centimeters and it is 5 centimeters. So, from A, you should draw the arc on the circle 5 centimeters. From A, you should draw one more arc on the circle 6 centimeters. Then you will get A, B and A, C. Now, whenever according to the question, equidistance from the vertices A and C. If it is equidistance from the vertices A and C, A C we should bisect it. So take more than half the compass and draw the arcs. A and B. So just draw the arc and we should bisect this. So this total line segment exactly we should bisect. So perpendicular bisecting. So taking more than half, we can do it. Then arcs will get from more than half you can draw the two arcs and above and below will get. Then if you join this, that is bisecting. AC we should bisect. And one more is A B and AC. So A B and A C means A is the angle A we should bisect. So what are angle that we should bisect now? Angle A if you bisect the both the points where they join. That's the point P. So more than half, you should take the arcs and just join this. Now draw the two chords. A, B, you have drawn and angle by bisecting of B, A, C and purple by bisecting of bisect of A, C. Okay. So P is the point of intersection of the angle by bisector and purple by bisector. Angle by bisector as well as purple by bisector's common point is the P. Now I come to question and ask them O, P. So distance from O to P. So O is the center of circle center of circle you should take first from center of circle to this p so the distance you have to find out so use the scale you get approximately according to this problem you get 0 0.65 centimeters that means less than centimeter 0 0.65 centimeters so 6.5 millimeters so complete constructions uh, problems are available in the same channel you can go through this is roughly explained let us see the next one here, a difference between the outer and inner curved surface areas of the hollow cylinder, 14 centimeters long, is 88 square centimeters. Difference is given. Find the outer and inner radius, uh, radius of cylinder, given that volume of the metal used is 176 cubic centimeters. Let us take the inner and outer radius is smaller and capillar. Let's solve the problems to take the given data first. So in this zone, if you take the given data, let inner radius is smaller, 
centimeters and outer radius let be capital R centimeters let's take this then according to question the difference difference between outer and inner CSA so curved surface area of hollow cylinder so we know that 2 pi r h minus 2 pi r h 2 pi capital R h minus 2 pi small r h that is the difference between a CSA of the hollow cylinder for 14 centimeters long so it is 14 centimeters and difference is 88 square centimeters so we can take according to that as per question 2 pi capital R h minus 2 pi small r h that is equals to 88 here h is 14 so 2 pi capital R into 14 minus 2 pi small r into 14 that is 88 so let us take the common so we can take some common values that is 2 pi values 22 by 7 2 pi 14 we can take common 2 into 22 by 7 into 14 if you take common here is a capital R minus small r that is equals to 88 we will simplify by cancellation terms so 7 1s are 7 2s are and capital R minus small r is equals to 88 divided by a 2 into 22 into 2 44 again 88 that is equals to 1 therefore capital R minus small r is equals to 1 let be equation 1 and one more details is given here volume of the metal is 176 ok volume is given then if you apply the volume formula volume of the hollow cylinder let us apply capital R minus small r is 1 that is one equation and volume of this hollow cylinder if you take yeah, volume of the hollow cylinder that is equals to formula so pi capital R square minus small r square into h that is equals to 176 is given just to apply so 22 by 7 capital R square minus small r square is capital R plus small r into capital R minus small r and into h is so 14 is given so 176 same 7 1s are 7 2s are cancelled then you can take capital R minus small r is 1 so from equation 1 in the place of capital R minus small r 1 is substitute then capital R plus small r value 22 into 1 is 22 so take other side 176 by 22 into 2 because capital R minus small r is 1 then that is equals to 22 1s are this is 8 and 2 1s are 2 4 sir. so capital R plus small r is 4 there is a second equation and capital R minus small r is 1 just by solving these both equations okay from 1 comma 2 capital R plus small r is 1 sorry 4 and capital R minus small r is equals to 1 cancel so this 2r is equals to 5 from this capital R is equals to 2.5 centimeters so this 2.5 and then small r is 1.5 because sum is 4 centimeters yes so outer and inner radius is 2.5 and one is 1.5 centimeters respectively so we can solve this problem just in this way now let's take the next question and we will solve those problems